filed the first batch of uh, complaints. Okay, so take two. <laughs> so several minutes ago, the NBI, as the public complainant, and Attorney Levy Baligod as the private complainant, filed the first batch of the PDAF complaints against a total of 38 individuals. And the complaints are for plunder against three senators and two former congressmen and cases for malversation, direct bribery, and graft and corrupt practices act against three other former congressmen. So a total of eight three senators and five former congressmen constituting the first batch and their cohorts kaya a total of 38 names so the names of the uh, lawmakers recommended to be charged for plunder are Senator Juan Ponce Enrile, Senator Ramon Bong Revilla Jr., Senator Jose Jingoy Ejercito Estrada, former Congresswoman Rizalina Sichon Laniete, now Governor of Masbate, and former Congressman Edgar Valdez of APEC Party List. That's the five for plunder. And those for malversation, direct bribery, and other graft and corrupt practices are former Congressman Rodolfo Plaza, Lone District, Agusan del Sur, former Congressman Samuel Dangwa, Lone District, Benguet, and former Congressman Constantino Haraula, Lone District, Cagayan de Oro. So a total of eight lawmakers for the first batch. I need to be stressing always that this is the first batch. Kasama rin pong pinapakasuhan namin for plunder. And also in certain cases for malversation, direct bribery, and other graft and corrupt practices act, ay yung ay walong chiefs of staff or representatives of the lawmakers charged or recommended to be charged. So walo po sila, these are the following. Attorney Jessica Lucila Reyes, Chief of Staff, Senator Enrile. Attorney Richard Cambe, Staff, Senator Revilla. Ruby Tuason, a representative of Senator Enrile and Senator Estrada. Pauline Labayan, Staff, Senator Estrada. Jose Sumalpong, Chief of Staff of former Congresswoman Laniete, now Governor. Janet De La Cruz, District Staff, also of former Congresswoman Laniete. Erwin Dangwa, Chief of Staff of former Congressman Dangwa. And Carlos Lozada, Staff of co former Congressman Dangwa. There are five heads of agencies, of implementing agencies, that we are also recommending to be charged for either plunder or malversation, bribery, and graft and corrupt practices are. These are Alan Haveliana, former president of the National Agribusiness Corporation, or NABCOR, Gondelina Amata, president of the National Livelihood Development Corporation, or NLDC. Antonio Ortiz, former Director General, Training and Research Center, or TRC. Dennis Kunanan, former Deputy Director General, 
now Director General also of DRC, or Training and Research Center, and Salvador Salaco, former president, Zenac Rubber Estate Corporation, or CIREC, and I understand is now an assistant secretary of the Department of Agriculture. So five heads of agencies of, impl of GOCCs or, uh, or implementing agencies. Also, six presidents of Nepalis NGOs are also being recommended to be charged on char for, for plunder as well as malversation. These are the following. Jocelyn Piorato of the uh, ang NGO Punya ay Agricultura para sa Magbubukid Foundation Inc. or APMFI. Nemesio Pablo, Agri and Economic Program for Farmers Foundation Inc. or AE AEPFFI. Mylene Encarnacion, Countrywide Agri and Rural Economic and Development Foundation Inc. or CARED. John Raymond de Asis, Kaupdanan Para sa Mangunguma Foundation Inc. or KPMFI. Evelyn De Leon, the Philippine Social Development Foundation Inc. PSDFI. And Ronald John Lim, Gininto Ang Alay sa Magsasaka Foundation Inc. or GAMFI. So these are the six Nepalis NGO presidents also being recommended to be charged for plunder and as well as malversation. There are other <laughs> officials and employees of implementing agencies. Also for plunder, recommended to be charged for plunder or malversation, bribery or graft and corrupt practices act by conspiracy. Five employees of NABCOR, namely Victor Cacal, Romulo Revelo, Maria Nines Guanizo, Julie Johnson, Rodora Mendoza. Three officials and employees of NLDC, or the National Livelihood Development Corporation, namely Alexis Sevidal, Sofia Cruz, Chila. Halandoni, is this correct? Chila Halandoni, NLDC. So tatlo naman from NLDC, other officials and employees. And dalawa employees from TRC, or uh, Training and Research Center, namely Francisco Figura and Marivic Hover. Finally, the 38th individual being recommended to be charged for plunder, in the case of, uh, as, as co-conspirator, in the case of the five lawmakers being charged for plunder, and also as a co-conspirator, in the case of the three other lawmakers being charged for malversation <laughs> and corruption of public officials, is Miss Janet Lim Napoles, the owner of the JLN group of companies and believed to be the mastermind of the PDAF scam operations. So, 38 po lahat. Ang aming pinapakasuhan dito sa first batch of PDAF complaints. We are going to distribute an executive summary para ho maintindihan nyo po. So, for, so since there are eight principal would be respondents, no? Eight principal would be respondents. Kaya ang sinabit po namin ay individual cover letters come 